choice. With the presidential election coming in the next few months and with the pandemic still going on, many people are considering voting by mail. Although recent changes to the Postal Service will make it potentially more difficult for people to vote in this way. I do have some concern that my, my ability to vote absentee might be in jeopardy because there have been changes in the post office that have slowed things down and just don't look good. Many college students who've come from other states would have voted absentee anyway, but students from Indiana are also concerned that their ability to vote might be in jeopardy. So I may attempt to vote in person, but that has complications because my current voting place is Greencroft, and due to that being a nursing home during the pandemic, I am unsure if they're going to be close to the public or not. Some argue that voter fraud is in fact a very large issue, and to this end, we interviewed Lori Arnold, and she ended up giving us insight into people who hold these beliefs. I know that this election, I think for everybody, is very important, and I think even if we do real close, pay real close attention, that after the election, whoever loses, that side is going to be saying that there was fraud. There was an attempt made to reach out to the post offices in Elkhart County. However, they declined to give comment due to policy. Out of all of this, one thing is certain. Both sides can agree that voting is very important and that nothing should obstruct one from exercising this right. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Jeremiah Sherrill.